What's up, YouTube? Um, this is your boy PJ Too Hot. Just giving you finally part two of my PS3 games. It's basically just an update. All right. First of all, we're gonna start with the new new games I got, and I, I got rid of some of them. Um, start with SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. This is to me the best SmackDown vs. Raw game ever. Best customization, best everything, except create a storyline that well basically okay okay this we put it this way Let's just put it this way create a storyline it, it didn't disappoint me I, it didn't it didn't disappoint me it just the ability that you're going to use 10 created superstars in your story per, per story kind of ticked me off a little bit but besides points the mode I be on the mode every day. I just make stories for fun. It's real fun. Um, but basically, this is a good game. This you should go. Oh, you should go pick this up. Never too late. Um, especially if you pre-order, you could have got the code for Stone Cold Steve Austin, which is still good. And new codes are going to be valid through January twentieth, which is when Stone Cold will become the DLC. Um. Next is Uncharted 2, Among Thieves. This game is amazing. This is like the best game, one of the best games ever. The multiplayer is good. Um, you got gameplay recordings and trophies. Trophies are pretty good. And um, the graphics are great. You might can't see, but these are perfect graphics. And the best part is the inside is not cheap. It has background onto it, and the booklet's not cheap. It's not in black and white. It's finely in color. That's the best part. I just I don't really like when the booklets are in black and white. It seems like they're just the company's cheap. Next is Assassin's Creed 2. Now this game is like I can't describe. This is like the best open world game ever. So much to do, it keeps you entertained. I play it all the time. And if and if any of my friends are on okay. If any of my friends on the PlayStation Network watching this video right now, y'all know y'all always see me playing Assassin's Creed 2. This game is great. Um, it's got a good story. It's not repetitive like the first one was. The graphics are good, and there's more weapons you can use. And the fighting system is completely redesigned and better. And there's more moves you can do. There's different weapons to use, not the same swords, the same type of people. You have different type of people. You go fly a flying machine. So much you can do. Okay. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This is like one of the best first person shooter games ever. This might get game of the year. Might. If it's not game of the year, it'll probably get. I don't know. But it's probably be. Just wait the E3 and see and something like that. Or the X Play. Anyways, um, this is a really good game. The online is addictive. You play the online for a long, long time. The online's addictive. I, be, I beat the story. The only thing I go in this game now is just for online. Because I beat story mode. And Spec Ops, I do that a little bit, but it's a perfect game. Infinity War did a good job of keeping the Call of Duty, Duty series good. One of them, this is my, like my best game for PS3 ever, and the best game in the world to me. Metal Gear Solid 4. Best story. Great online. And best everything. I mean, the graphics are great. Took up a lot of space. Takes a while to install it, but it's worth it. You can pick this game up for twenty six dollars or thirty bucks. But this is still a good game. Recommend you pick this up. Next is ouch. Well, y'all y'all seen these in the um this and Medica Solid Four in, in the first uh, um yeah. <laughs> In my first video of my PS3 games part one, you've seen me kill on two and Metal Gear Solid. But um Kills on Two to me is like one of the 
is the like 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 Modern Warfare 2, one of the best first person shooters. I can't say Modern Warfare 2 is better, but I ain't saying kids on two is better than Modern Warfare 2, I just say they're tied up. But this is a good game and it's kinda hard to decide which is better between Modern Warfare 2 and Kids on 2. But hey, best DLCs so far. I guess Modern Warfare 2 DLC will come out, but I don't know when. But 32 players online, that's a lot. And it doesn't take up that take up that much space. So anyways, um next is Bionic Commando 2. And you've seen this one in in part one of this video. Um this is a good game, as I told you. Nobody's never online. Laggy, but story mode is but basically if you want this game, you buy it for story mode. If you buy it for online, not too much. It's I mean, online is fun. Once you get into a game, it's real fun, but then it's just you can barely find somebody in this. But this is a good game and I wish it was open world, but it's not open world, it's just it's actually a story you have to go through. It looks open world when you play it, but it's not. Far Cry 2. Now this is a great game. This is the this is a good open world, open world first person shooter. Um, it, it takes place in Africa, some place in Africa and all that. There's not enough animals though. I thought it was gonna be lions and all that, but it's only zebras and some buffaloes type of things and a goat based some goat things. But that's all you can kill. But this is a good game. The online's good, and I love the bonus map. Correct map editor that's inside you can create your own multiplayer maps and this is a this is a real long game it's done it's like 50 hours long I, th I think that's what the review says it's a 50 hour long game so this game takes a while to beat but it's good once you get into it and saints row 2 now this game is a is a must get this game is real great um but the, the sad part is they took away a lot of uh, uh okay they took away a lot of the old and most fun multiplayer game modes like Pimp My Ride and all that. They took all that out and they, you know, kind of disappointed me. I wish Pimp My Ride was still in there. I loved that um, mode. But hey, I played the first Saints Row on Xbox. Oh, well, I had the first Saints Row on my Xbox 360, which is. Whatever. But it's, it's a real good game. So I, I suggest you. You pick this up too. I might go find the first set, so I hope I can. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Saints Row for the Xbox 360, Saints Row 1. I yes, This is a good game, and I still play it a little bit, but not too much. I'm mostly on Saints Row 2. And my last is Call of Duty 4. I was playing this a lot because I bought this game, bought this game while I wait for um, my Modern Warfare 2. So I just decided to pick up this game and play this while I wait for Modern Warfare 2. And this is a good game, but I don't know why. To me, I had no idea what I'm going to do with it. I mean, I have Modern Warfare 2, and I probably don't think that people still be on playing online on this. But... I haven't beat the game yet, so I might go ahead and try to beat it, beat it, and then I guess I'll just throw it up in the corner, and then just, I'm, I'm not going to turn in that GameStop, and then I'm just going to keep it, I'm trying to start me a big PS3 collection of PS3, and I'm trying to find, get a whole bunch of them, that's mostly what I'm trying to do, get a whole bunch of PS3 games, that's why that's my goal, because my PS2, you cannot describe how many games I have on PS2, this PS2 will probably go from this wall, to the next wall over there, and you have to do it that wall, all the way to that wall, on the ground, and probably take all my floor of PS, I had a whole bunch of PS2 games, and I kept that collection, I'm trying to do it with my PS3, I'm trying to get a whole bunch of games for PS3, you know, but, as I said, Saints Row 2, I mean Saints Row 1, and Call of Duty World at War, so I get for my own 360, but, who knows? Anyways, um, that was my that was my PS3 games part two. This your boy PJ Two Hot. Peace.